Imagine standing on Waikiki Beach, the serene waves rolling in when you notice lights in the sky. At first you think, drones, maybe a show. But then those lights start moving in ways that no drone should, and suddenly everything feels off. Bro, what the fuck? <gasps> what? 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 Why isn't my phone focusing? What is happening right now? An extraordinary UFO sighting was captured by Brittany while she was on Waikiki Beach. Initially, she thought the lights in the sky were drones, but soon realized they were something else entirely. Bro, what the fuck? <gasps> what? 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 Why isn't my phone focusing? What is happening right now? Where are they going? It's landing. That... Um... Uh, um... The situation took a strange turn when the police suddenly shut down the beach, evacuating everyone and blocking off access. This raises questions. If it was just a drone show, why such extreme measures? The lights didn't just vanish. They seemed to land, leaving behind a trail of unsettling questions. Why did Brittany's phone start malfunctioning at that exact moment? And where did those lights really go? This isn't just another sighting. It's a mystery that gets under your skin. The second video, which is currently trending on social media, comes from Porter Ranch, California, where dozens of people witness strange lights in the sky between August 15 and 16. The crafts in both sightings appear remarkably similar, raising the question, did this phenomenon start in Hawaii and end in California? It all started with Brittany's footage from Waikiki Beach, where she caught what seemed like a UFO landing. That was August 14. Fast forward a day and suddenly, people across Southern California are seeing similar lights in the sky with the epicenter in Porter Ranch. Different people, different nights, but the same eerie pattern. It's like these crafts, whatever they are, are tracing a path from Hawaii to California. Why would they be following that line? And more importantly, what are they planning? This isn't just a one-off incident. It feels like the start of something. What the hell? What is that, Mom? What? Ma, you see this? No. Holy shit! What, what is, the hell is that? What is happening? I see this? Oh my god, what the fuck is happening? What is that? What is that?
A passenger on a train traveling through the Italian countryside captured video footage of three glowing orbs hovering in the sky forming a triangular shape. This shape has become notorious in UFO sighting. Italy, with its rich history of UFO sightings, adds another intriguing layer to this mysterious event. Imagine soaring thousands of feet above the earth, in the dead of night only to be greeted by a spectacle straight out of a sci-fi horror film. The pilots on a Boeing 747 flying from Saudi Arabia to Nigeria experienced an extraordinary encounter with multiple UFOs which they captured on video. The UFOs exhibited erratic movements, with one pilot describing them as extremely bright and capable of free, precise maneuvers, even flying in formation. A pilot remarked that it felt as if the UFOs were intentionally entertaining them, keeping them awake during the flight. The video includes the pilot's narration of the sighting. Guys, ini bukanlah karangan atau gambar yang dibuat-buat, tapi ini adalah pengalaman saya melihat sesuatu yang aneh atau anomali UFO atau Unidentified Flying Object, benda terbang yang tidak terindikasi. Yang kami lihat memang masih misteri, benda apakah itu berada di angkasa dan menari-nari. Sebelumnya kami menyangka cahaya itu adalah pesawat, tapi tidak ada di radar kami. Terus kami menyangka kalau mungkin itu bintang. These UFOs didn't just appear, they performed almost as if they were toying with the idea of being seen. Cahaya UFO bersinar lama dan bergerak. Kemudian kami menyangka pula bahwa kemungkinan cahaya tersebut adalah satelit. Karena saat ini banyak satelit dari Starlink yang baru diluncurkan oleh Elon Musk. Tetapi tidak mungkin satelit bergerak seperti itu. Karena cahaya UFO di depan kami bergerak bebas, kadang maju, mundur, kadang kiri, kanan, atau sebaliknya. Dan mereka bisa bercahaya berempat bersamaan dengan bergerak membuat formasi. Tapi di luar itu, mereka tidak mengganggu kami. Malahan mereka sepertinya menghibur kami, menari-nari, membuat kami melek di saat kami mengantuk. Dan kadang mereka juga mengedipkan cahaya seperti mereka ingin memberikan suatu pesan. Tapi pesan apa? Kami sungguh tidak mengerti. 
appeared in the sky over Hampton Roads on Tuesday, sparking curiosity and concern among residents. Multiple viewers of Wavy TV, 10 sent in images and videos of the ominous ring floating in the sky, with reports coming in shortly after 11 a.m. Sightings were recorded in different locations, including near Eastern State Hospital in Williamburg and Old Moortown Road. Similar sightings have been documented in other news articles and social media posts. People stopped what they were doing, unable to ignore the eerie shape that seemed to defy explanation. It wasn't just one person who saw it. The sightings came in from different parts of the area, each more unsettling than the last, near an old hospital no less. What does that tell you? As more images and videos flooded in, the pattern became clear. This wasn't an isolated event, 